guys, welcome to Martin Made. My name's Stephanie, and today I am going to be decluttering my baking dishes. So over the course of 2019, I'm hoping to kind of declutter. If you want to say minimalize, that's a that's kind of accurate as well. But um, I'm just trying to go through everything, get rid of stuff that I don't need over the whole year, and I'm taking it little bit by little bit by little bit. And so far, I've done a few things here and there. Um, today, I'm going to be going through my um, cabinet down here, and I'm going to be actually going through all of my baking dishes. So many times we collect so many baking dishes that we we have way too many. We don't need as many casserole dishes as we have or um, pans, that pots and pans and things like that as we have. So I'm going to be going through that cabinet. It shouldn't take very long, but at the end of this video, I have a special surprise for you. I'm going to show you the progress of our basement so far. Um, we've not done a whole lot over the past little bit. We've had a lot going on and just with between um, my husband working and all kinds of things coming up in between when he's working and when he's not working, all of that stuff, it just hasn't gotten done very well. And so we are now back into the swing of things down in the basement. So I'm going to show you what has gotten done so far down there so that you can wait for the end of the video for that. So let's get decluttering. So the first thing I had to do was clear out the cabinet of everything. Then I took my dish rag and wiped out the inside of the cabinet. Next I was on to figuring out what I was keeping and what I was getting rid of. Um, I had quite a few casserole dishes so I decided to just keep these four, too small, too big, and then these were extras. Um, I decided to keep all of my pots and pans because honestly I don't have very many. And so I decided to keep those as well as my bread pans. Um, I make a lot of bread so I use all of them and then I decided to keep my pressure cooker and my um, steamer and then I had this little steamer that I decided to get rid of but all the rest of it was going back down into the cabinet so here's the items I actually got rid of one casserole dish and one steamer Next, it was time to start putting everything back into the cabinet um, now that it was clean and I had gone through everything. And so I got everything put back down in there and I was done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I know there wasn't a whole lot to declutter in this. It needed just some wiping down. But I have in the past decluttered quite a bit out of that type of cabinet and gotten rid of a lot of stuff. There's more, but it's spread throughout the kitchen. And so, but this was cabinet was all of my baking dishes and pots and pans that I have. And um, it was nice to even just get rid of another casserole dish. As many times as I make three big casserole dishes, it's very far and few between and on those special times I could always just pick up an extra you know disposable pan from the store if I need to I think maybe if my parents come for something like a holiday of some kind that is about the only time that I would need that many casserole dishes so um, just getting rid of things, thinking ahead, like how many times do I actually use this amount of this or that amount of that? And so um, it's just thinking ahead and trying to get rid of stuff that you, like this, don't even use. And so um, I hope that you 
you are in the mood to get rid of things and to just become a little more minimalistic, um, I don't necessarily love using that word because I, as minimal as I want to live, I want to just live according to need. And um, that is my main goal, is to live according to need. And if I need it and I use it, that's great. I'm going to keep it and I'm going to hold on to it and use it. But if it's something that I use almost never or very rarely, and the times that I do use it have been just kind of a random time, it's best to just get rid of it, you know? And so for those of you who enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And those of you who are new to this channel, you can hit that red subscribe button down below. There's also a little bell for those who are on a mobile device. You can hit that if you would like to be notified every time that I upload a new video, which is every Thursday. And for those who would like to comment down below, please let me know what are you getting into in your house? What are you decluttering? What are you trying to get rid of? And um, are you having fun doing it? And so I will catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you then. Bye. Hey guys, I just wanted to come on and to show you what the progress has been on the basement. Like I had said earlier in this video that you just watched, I have not filmed anything going on in the basement because we have had very little happening like as of late. And so with the holidays and all that stuff going on, a lot my husband was working um, overtime a ton of hours in the fall so there was no getting to the basement at all but once the new year hit my husband was able to get down there and kind of get some work done which has been exciting for me to see I've been not so much excited that he's down there working on it but I'm more so excited to see that it's having progress so um, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, you might be able to hear my son's music, but this is the area. This is the construction area. This is where Silas is not allowed to come down here at all. But this room is the room that will become our playroom. It's a total mess right now, I know, but look at the drywall. It is up. We have drywall up. This is where, this right here is the wall that is going to be the shelving where my craft room stuff is going to go. This will have its own like cabinet and it's all going to be blocked off. It's not going to have, be showing at all, but it'll have like a cabinet that opens to it. I'm so excited for us to get started on that. Um, this is kind of what I'm waiting for to get all my craft room stuff organized, but, um, yeah, so here's, this will be the wall you'll come down and this will have all cabinetry here and that'll be where my craft room is. I'll have a hidden table that slides out and that will be where I do sewing or crafting. And then this will just be just a regular wall. This door will go to the laundry room. Right now, that's all one room, and it looks exactly how it was when you guys would have seen it last. Um, it just has this wall here. So this right here is the wall. That'll have a powder room in there, and then this right here will just kind of be a, not, just kind of a little cubby where um, there will be some toys that we can put back in there that will kind of get stored in there. Um, but this will be an area where Silas can come down and he can play. I can do my crafting. We can also put everything away and have area for guests to stay. So it will be a nice little area. And plus it'll have a powder room. So if we have guests, they can stay in there. So they stay with in here with a powder room and have like a an area where they can um, use the washroom and not have to go upstairs. So, um, it, like I said, it is a mess with all the tools and stuff out, but right now this is how it is. <laughs> so 
Silas does not come down here unless daddy or mommy are with her, him. So um, yeah, so this is what it looks like. We're so excited to see it get done. That's our bedroom, which is exactly how you saw it in the last video I did. That it showed the bedroom and I'm just really looking forward to it. It's looking so good. So um, anyway, that's the update on the basement. I'll... So I hope you enjoyed the update. I know I am so excited about this, but um, like I said before, but I am so excited to see the outcome and to have everything kind of start feeling like it's coming together. Um, but I, I do hope you enjoyed it. Thank you to all of those who have stuck with me over the years and who have followed along. I enjoy making my videos. I really do. These videos, you might feel like sometimes they're random, but that's because that's how my life is. My life is very random. And if you don't mind that, I don't mind sharing. But I just share what is going on in my life at the time that it is happening. So um, these are projects that we're doing or whether it's home decor that I'm doing, um, that's what's happening in my life today. So um, I hope you're enjoying it and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Talk to you later, friends. Bye.